Fine, as long as you're not bored enough to download this cancerous app, TikTok. <sighs> so this app is developed by a guy named ByteDance, and it was intended to be used by teens and young adults, but attracts a very <clears throat> questionable crowd. The premise of the videos can be broken down into four categories. The first of which being dance videos. Now, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's people dancing to music, moving their arms uncontrollably, shaking their asses. You know, I never understood this, and I probably never will. Moving on, you get your memed videos. Now, these are mainly for the boys, you know, which consist of a funny yet questionable content and context with slight gay undertones. Then you get your weeb shit, which pertains to your weebs. If you're unfamiliar with what a weeb is, Think Belle Delphine, but less attractive. Finally, you get the dark side of TikTok, which is all the unfunny stuff. The app keeps its users busy by tapping into their need for satisfaction, with each scroll being somewhat better than the next, with no end in sight. Before you know it, you're up till 4am looking at a guy telling you a video of him putting his foot up on a counter will go viral. For fuck's sake. TikTok has made some teens extremely famous. Like, good for them and all, but I'm not too sure lip syncing to someone else's song is a talent. Or at least very profitable. What? What? How much did you make from just what I said? Scratch that. You can. She made 3 million from TikTok. My god. However, not all TikToks are dance videos and people miming to autocorrect songs. No, some of them are actually kind of funny. Some of them. Are like vine if you if you don't know what vine is it was also a tiktok esque app back in the day the good old days where you had a short video where people made their own skits a quick youtube search will show you a handful of videos that basically look like vine it's people falling down being inconsiderate to other people around them you know comedy actual comedy tiktok just doesn't quite capture the comedy of the old og viners you know the og influencers Logan Paul, the famous photographer, Thomas Sanders, the Pokemon guy, Leanne V, the girl who danced with the old Asian dad. Who can forget the comedic genius of Lele Pons? In summary though, TikTok isn't that bad of an app as people make it out, well as I make it out to be. It's entertaining, but the app just isn't what it should be. If you go through the app and just stop to think what am I actually looking at, it becomes not fun anymore. There's so much better things you can do, like you can go out for a swim in the lake, you can go out and catch a fish in the lake, you can go out and ski on the lake if you're rich and you have a boat. You know, basically what I'm saying is go out on a lake instead of watching TikToks. If you really have nothing better to do, pull out your phone, download the app, give it a negative rating, and watch videos of people lip-syncing to your favorite songs. But hey, that's TikTok.